I don't be knowing what to do with myself in these intros, but what's up y'all? It's Dana Nicole and wow, that was a lot of energy. Um, today's video is not going to be a tutorial. Um, it's pretty much just going to be something that I feel like a lot of people have been in my DMs about um, that they're not necessarily struggling with, um, but it's being a product junkie. And a lot of the DMs started around, well, they come every time a new brand drops a new collection. Like my friends or like my followers or subscribers would DM me and be like, hey, are you gonna get on this? Like, have you tried it? Um, like, are you gonna do a video? Are you gonna review, do a tutorial? And so, so today I'm going to give you my, I think it's four, four tips. It's four fingers, yeah. Four tips on how not to be a product junkie. And they're not like, really like strategic or should make you feel any type of way because I was also a product junkie um, and it just really kind of for me came with adapting a minimalistic lifestyle like realizing like you really do not need all of this. Step number one is like literally so easy like bro stop buying products. Stop buying products like if you look in your stash and you already have shampoo don't buy no more shampoo i don't care if it's my L just dropped moisture rx like i don't care if like design essentials just paired up with like the world's best dermatologist and said that their shampoo is better for your scalp your dermatologist and your scalp said that you are okay so you don't need any more don't buy it other people that have not watched this video will buy it that thus the demand will be high and they will continue to produce it okay you ain't finna miss out sis don't you buy nothing that you already got I personally have not bought a product since August of 2019 and this is December. So you can do it, like you literally can do it. It really just is about like evaluating what you have. I understand it, that some products may go quicker than others. If you if you evaluate the things that go quick for you and then you buy products to replenish that, that's cool. Like that is actually really great and really smart, but don't be out here buying no more shampoo when you got eight of them. You don't even need eight, you don't. Know? This one is not gonna do anything much better than this one do because nine times out of 10, they both got coconut oil and shea butter in it. So it's like, you good. So you're good. step number two is mix and match. Like I know that a lot of brands, of course, when they release a collection, you would hope that it's complete with your shampoo, your deep conditioner, your leave-in conditioner, your styler, probably an oil or maybe not an oil, but an edge control. You would hope that it's complete. Sometimes that does not always happen. Um, so don't, you have to mix and match in those situations. But even if you happen to have like a whole lot of shampoo by Camille Rose Naturals, but you run out of their Algae Renew deep conditioner and you only have um, My Organics, Babasu, and Mint deep conditioner, use that. You don't have to go out and buy another Camille Rose Naturals, you know, Algae Renew deep conditioner unless you found that that My Organics one does not work best for you. That's when it's time to just toss it away or give it away. As long as your hair is clean, and this is what I found for myself, as long as your hair is thoroughly clean, you've gotten all the shampoo out before you apply your deep conditioner, that's pretty much all deep conditioner needs to, to work, like to not be sitting on top of product buildup. So just make sure your hair is like cleansed properly and you're good. Now if you wanna keep the momentum going after you deep condition, that's on you. I'm still gonna mix and match if I don't have Styler by Camembo's Naturals too. Number three is improvise. I feel like us as naturalistas or curl friends, I never say naturalistas, um, as like curly girls or curly guys, I see y'all, is that a link? We have to improvise like a lot, like especially when you have done your twist out and you like, oh, I got like a big event. The next day, these twists are gonna be fire and I'm gonna take them out and it's just gonna be lit. But then you take it out and the whole like front right section of your head is not dry. We have to improvise. Like, so we can do it with styling, which is literally like the hardest thing. Like how do you completely create a new hairstyle that's not a bun or a low pony, you know, within the next day or within, within the current day, like how do you do that? Um, so if we can do that, then we can definitely improvise with products. Um, and when I say improvise, I mean, like I said, leave-in conditioners are the thing that kind of goes the quickest for me. So it's not unusual for me to get out of the shower from shampoo and deep conditioning, reach for a leave-in conditioner, and it could be one that I really, really wanted, or it could be my last one, and it's literally like nothing in there. 
what do you do now? Do you proceed with your cream styling? Do you go out and buy another one? Or do you just kind of evaluate like, what do you have? I typically have um, some of everything just because of the type of position that I'm in. <laughs> um, and also just kind of recovering from being a product junkie. So like, I'll have hair milks. And hair milks, nine times out of 10, the intent for that is to be used the same way that you use a leave-in conditioner. Usually the instructions will say something like, um, you know, apply to freshly cleansed hair. Um, and it'll tell you if you want to apply it generously or moderately, depending on like the consistency and the density of, of the, the product. Um, and then it'll say, you know, work it through from ends to roots or from roots to ends and detangle if your heart desires and then proceed with styling. Does that not sound like a leave-in conditioner to you? Like after you've washed your hair, the first thing that you typically grab is a leave-in conditioner and are telling you that it's okay to grab their hair milk. So I think you're in good shape to use Camille Rose Naturals Moisture Milk or Eden Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree Hair Milk when you've run out of Eden Body Works Coco Shea Leave-In Conditioner. And the same goes for your stylers. A lot of brands will make moisture butters and then twisting creams. I was very confused at that at first. Like, how do I use a moisture butter? I just felt like it was something additional to add in between the leave-in conditioner and an actual styler that could potentially give you product buildup. Um, but lo and behold, on my journey of not buying more products and utilizing what I have, there came a time when I didn't have any more twisting creams or curling creams. I had TGIN's Double Butter Moisturizer or Camille Rose Naturals. I think theirs is like a daily butter moisturizer or something. Um, and I just was like, well, you know, your hair is going to hold the style. I feel like a lot of times, unless you're doing a wash and go, you don't really need to look for a product that has hold because moisturized hair that is set well will hold by itself. Um, the thing that you'll be looking for is if this product can withstand like the moisture in the air or if you're like a humid area, stuff like that. But for the most part, like you're good. So I've been using, um, moisturizing butters to style my hair and it's been working well for me and it's also giving me confidence like that I can just explore different things that I once felt like my hair was just like too difficult to to handle um so improvise like we do it every day when our hair doesn't dry we can do it when we don't have a curling cream fourth tip is my favorite um my absolute favorite and it's something that it's kind of like improvising, but I'll just spill it, boom. So if you're like me, like I stated, deep conditioners, I'll get like two and a half uses out of it. What do I do with that half, you know, serving of product left that I know that is not gonna cover my whole head, but I also have like whole jars or like moderately used jars or maybe half jars from other brands. Like, do I just sit, let them sit there? Do I just go out and buy more of that and just like kind of use them with their same kinds? Or do I experiment? I started to experiment and I, it literally has worked so well for me so far. There isn't any specific science to how I'm choosing it. Um, sometimes I'll do it based on if how a product smells. I definitely don't want something that smells like roses next to something that smells like bananas in my hair. Um, but I'll definitely take something that smells like honey and then something that smells like banana and put them together. Um, so mixing, mixing and matching, I guess again, but this time it's like actually mixing them together. Um, I first tried this when I have a new favorite deep conditioner, it's by Eco Slay. I love the owner so much, like she's always so sweet and she always contacts me so when she's uh, dropping something new and I can't wait to show you like what she sent me recently. Um, it's, it's just so great. But she has a banana pudding deep conditioner. It's like banana cream or banana pudding. It smells like banana pudding. It makes you want to eat banana pudding. Um, and I was like going hard with that stuff like because it's literally amazing. A little bit of it goes a long way. So I kind of wasn't really paying attention to when I needed to actually get more of it. Then it came a time where there was just like, you know, what are we going to do with this? Like, I'm not going to throw this away. Like, I'm definitely not. Like, I could see if there was something that I didn't really like, but I was using because I had it. But I actually like this product. Like, I'm not going to throw this little like one cup of product or half a cup of product away. Um, so I had that and then I had the Design Essentials Coconut and Manoy 
um, deep conditioner. And it's great, it's just really thin. So I had a good amount of that since I wasn't using it as much. And I was like, I wonder like if I mix these, like what's gonna happen? Um, because the Design Essentials has slip, but when it kind of like starts to absorb in my hair, it doesn't give me those same moisture benefits as the Eco Slay Banana Cream Deep Conditioner. So I put the Design Essentials in the jar with the Eco Slay and I got a spoon and I shook it up so that they were all the same consistency. Um, and I put it on my hair and I set it in the dryer and I literally was just like, look, well, please. Let this be like something because I ain't got <laughs> When I rinsed it out, my hair felt like butter. Like it was to the point where I was like, I'm just gonna buy this Design Essentials and the Eco Slay just to mix them together perfectly. Like it was like the best product combination, like literal combination that I've ever done. And so from there, it just kind of was like, this was successful. Like a successful first attempt, I kept trying. So if you are looking for a deep conditioning cocktail, you should definitely try that. I'll put the links in the description box. Those were four tips, but this one is kind of like bonus honorary and literally like so necessary to say because I feel like us as naturals will hold on to things that we don't need. Throw away products that do not work. Throw them away. It's no point in holding on to it because you can't use it. You can't use it. If you don't have anybody to give it away to, like, toss it. Like, donate it if they let you do that. I don't think so because it'll be like open, the seal's gonna be broken. But it's literally not doing you any justice if you hold on to it. Stop rebuying things that you had like a uh, uh, type of reaction to when you first used it. Like it's not gonna change unless this brand announces that they've changed the formula. Like it's not gonna change. It's not gonna change. So stop trying to make your hair like things that it does not like. Sorry if I yelled at you, but I just want you to be great. But that's literally like all I have. Um, currently, <laughs> I'm gonna show you my product stash. Currently I have a crap ton of shampoo. Um, he, like stuff that I use for when I'm only heat styling my hair, that's what I have left because I obviously typically only heat style my hair twice a year. Yeah, or like products that just are not gone yet. Uh, but that's what I have left and I'm gonna show you so you don't think that I'm crazy. Um, this is shampoo. This is shampoo. This is Kinky Curly's, no oh I have a little bit of it. Time to mix, often. Jars like deep conditioners. So this is one of the deep conditioners that I have left. Here is my baby, my Eco Slay. I don't want to make mess up the light. My Eco Slay um, deep conditioner. This is the banana cream deep conditioner. It smells so good and it's almost gone. I have and the, the collection in here is pretty consistent. Like it's curls, um, their vegan collection, the green collection. Um, I got this when I was when I did Ubiquitous 2019. And then that was Dana the Product Junkie in Product Junkie Rehab. Welcome if you are joining the program. I uh, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. I haven't done like a talking video in so long. So I hope that um, it was just like really good content for you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch my previous video with Africa's Best uh, Honey and Castor Curls, their new Originals Honey collection. Um, and share this video with your other product junkie friends. And I will see you in my next, my next video. Bye. Let's try this wink thing again. Oh, we did it.